Hey guys, I'm Rosa Vane, and welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Where we last left off was that we basically started to, uh, we, or we finished up our side quests at Ellis uh, with the Sanctuary of Olympia, um, and now we're jumping into the Conqueror, which is the Boletia side. Uh, the, we are going back to Boletia basically to do the main quest uh, to help. Sparta take back control over Boatia because Athens apparently took over it. Um, otherwise, we got some side quests here as well, apparently, which I saw a glimpse of. Like I kind of, it kind of like showed on the side of the screen when I was trying to get to the saving point. Um, so we'll probably do that as well as taking down some of the people that we need to take down for Stentor, which is one of the, or is the leader of this area who's trying to operate on trying to take back control of Boatia or Sparta. But yeah, otherwise that's pretty much it. So we're gonna head over there and do the thing. I still have a bounty, but that's because uh... I still don't get it though. Like the parents of so one of the side quests I had to kill the parents, which of course yeah we're basically murdering like innocent people. But why would that count? Is the problem because we we were helping their kids, you know, to avoid them from getting killed by us. So it made zero sense to me in general. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know anymore. It's so whatever. Yeah, over time the bounty is gonna go away. But at the same time, we basically had clues for other mercenaries from from the mercenaries that were chasing after us because of our bounty. But whatever. Yeah, I mean overall, I'm looking forward to fighting these three remaining champions. Apparently, the fourth champion we. The fourth champion that the Stentor mentioned was already been dead, and I'm just like, I, I kind of forget that I sometimes can do things way ahead and I would never know it. Um, it's a shame that I don't get more, like, more of that kind of sort of thing going where I just, like, eliminate enemies, like, ahead of my, ahead of my main missions and such. Is that not a camp? Okay, this is not a camp, this is a temple, I think. Yeah, so far this is a temple. Wait, I'm confused. Oh, she is in here. Okay, so she she's not even This is it. Okay, she's not here, but she's over this is something else entirely. Yeah, these are technically enemies, I believe. Right? Huntress Ophelia. Oh wow, her name is Ophelia, <laughs> as in the lady who's uh, committed suicide and such. Wait, are these actually enemies? I can't tell. Yeah, they're not enemies, but okay. Now I'm enemy. There we go. I freed the captive. Okay, so I'm an enemy if I pretty much release them. Okay, I guess. Oh god, the, the dogs are gonna find me! I knew it. The wolves are gonna find me pretty much. Oh. There we go. Oh, jeez, the bear. Oh, oh gosh. Alright, well, I killed the dog. Uh, I killed the wolf again. I keep saying dog, it's the wolf. Ow. Ow! Ooh, jeez! The bear, dude. The bear is, like, really ridiculous. Oh god, oh god. I need to get rid of the... Lady! This lady, in particular, because these guys are gonna constantly get in my way. There we go. Oh, oh jeez. I hear wolf. But I'm not sure what what these wolves are doing. Oh god, dang it! Come on, dude. Screw off. What is these howling for? What are you guys howling about, man? Seriously, these wolves are howling constantly. What is it? Don't make me kill you guys. Okay, you you are so annoying. Stop. Oh no, that's a bad one. That was a bad shot. Oh 
Oh, that was a bad shot, too. Wow, okay. There we go. Screw off. Freaking annoying as hell, dude. It's like, I understand they're howling, but seriously, stop howling. It's like, annoying. I'm sorry that the wolf had to die, but it had to die. Because it kept making noises. Check your inventory. I know, game. I know. Alright, let's go ahead and loot that wolf. I keep saying dog. I don't know why I keep saying dog. Wolves are not dogs. They're, uh, they're wolves. <laughs> they're just wolves. Alright, cool. Got, got one arrow back, at least. Alright. We're almost to the, uh, to the person we need to hunt down here. Kind of curious how much, uh, how much there is to this one. Wait, is it just... I don't know if it's like an actual territory with an enemies, or if it's just like... Oh, it is... Oh, no, it's an investigation area. Wait, I, why is this dog after me? I'm confused. What's up? This hut must be Nasea's. I guess she prefers the quiet of the forest over living in the city. Understandable. So we were just basically finding her, trying to find her? These tracks don't look human. Oh, there's, yeah, there's they a... They lead away from the camp to the north. It's an animal's track. More animals. This fire's fresh. And the food's still simmering. Nasea can't be far away. Got it. Open the map to find objectives. Okay, let me go into the inventory first and dismantle... Actually, do I... Should I dismantle? Mm. Yeah, let's just dismantle it. I have to sell some stuff to get some money still. A little bit. I want to get some money, but I think that the, the leather and everything is much more valuable at the moment for me, so... There stalks the mighty hunter. Alright. So we're hunting the hunter, basically. Which is interesting, but I don't know if we'll be needing to worry about... Alright. Oh! Nope. The wolf did hit me, but it didn't hit me for long. Oh. Nope, there it is. I was like, I heard it, but I wasn't sure how far it was from where I was at. But at least we're getting leather. Like, we're getting a lot of leather out of it. Find and assassinate. Yeah, I know. There's the bear. Well, I'm gonna try to hit the neck of it. And... When it KO. There we go. Oh my god, the headshot, though. The headshot is, like, really, like, aggressive in this. Another headshot right there. Oh boy, that headshots. Like, all the headshots are so, like, interestingly, like, painful for me. There we go. Another headshot there. Okay, we gotta be careful here because she is getting closer and closer to where I was coming at. There was someone here. Oh god, the wolves are coming in to attack me. The wolves are just trying to chase after me here. Oh, gosh. Leave me alone, you freaking wolves! I'm busy trying to kill! Wait, is she fighting the wolves or something? Oh, she looks like she's trying to chase after the wolves. Yeah, these wolves are chasing after me here. Oh, God. Mm, I hate these. Screw off. Yeah, she is dealing with wolves over there. Well, I'm pretty sure she's capable of handling the wolves if uh, if it doesn't work out. Or if it does work out and everything for her. Yeah, I want to try and, like, play it stealthily just in case well, the wolves are bothering me every time. Alright, 
Here we go. Let's see if we can get her. With another headshot. There we go. There's the headshot. Woo! That was a really interesting fight there where I'm just like literally hunting her down without having to... Without having to like really interact with her or letting her see me. The CS belt. Sure. Alright, let's dismantle that belt though. Actually, no, 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 no. I shouldn't dismantle it. I should sell the belt. So I can get some money to upgrade our ship. Because I do need to finish up the ship upgrades. And that will be soon, hopefully. Yeah, we're getting closer. We just need 19k. So we're 3,000... Around 3,000 more uh, drachmes left. Alright, cool. Let's kill this wolf, though. I do need to get some leather. In hopes to upgrade whatever else we need to upgrade. Yep. And also get some adrenaline. So that's good, too. Alright, cool. So that's that. Um, so next quest. Should we... I don't want to do... I want to do the side quest, but I want to also hunt these people down first. Thebes and Boatia. Is this... Is this marked on the map? Or do I have to literally find it? I think I have to literally find it. Uh, Thebes and Boatia. Boatia right here. Is this Thebes? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, so let's avoid that for now. Let's get, let's go for the ones that are outside of Thebes. Then is this the Fortress of God? Ah, oh, okay. So they're both like around. Here. Yeah, let's not focus on being in. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go and get this one instead. The one in Gla, the uh, the Fortress of Gla. The reason why I want to go for the Fortress of Gla is because this one in particular would be outside of Thebes and it would be easier to just do the temp with the the whole fortress there and just get it done and then be be not necessary to like like try not to find necessary like hits onto uh Aristeus found you. Wow he wasn't even that far from where I was at. Wait is he fighting a Spartan soldier? It looks like he is. Uh. Oh Stentor is probably the one killing him. No, it's the wolf. Wow. Potter? Cassandra, what are you doing here? I Helping. came to kill him. He wouldn't have been a challenge for you. <laughs> but I'm glad our paths have crossed again. I can't believe we were going to meet. I, I was thinking when would they use the wolf again, considering I didn't kill him. But holy hell, dude. Like, seriously, this is interesting. I never thought I'd see you again. True. What have you been doing? Yeah. You made me realize in Megaris that I lost my honor long ago. There's no way to go back and make it up to you. But I can fulfill my promise to Stentor now. Huh. This is the last place I expected to find you. Mm -hmm. I left Stentor with the greatest responsibility a man could carry. I couldn't leave him to face it alone. How thoughtful. Killing these champions will weaken the Athenian hold on the region and destroy the rebels' morale. Uh, I don't know. These sound both. These both sound tempting to select. I like this one the most, but I hate it because it's like. Because it's true, Centaur lost his morale already with uh with the loss of it, but he's still do he's still keeping it up. Like Centaur is still at least trying to recoup what he lost, which is his father his father like figure, uh mentor kind of character. You came all this way to help Centaur. Good, he needs it. It's about time I started protecting those I care about. You're right. You've changed so much. This is who I've always been. You just weren't there to see it. Oof. I will never be able to change that. But I can do something now for someone who needs me. There are things Stentor must hear to succeed. What do you mean must hear? I want to say go to him because it makes such an interesting dynamic just to see that he's going to be like getting involved somehow. I wish you'd helped me back in Sparta. But Stentor does need help now, even if he doesn't want to admit it. Stentor is as much your family as I am. You can still be there for him. Yeah. I will. If it's not for me, she then it's for him. hate me, but I'm glad to have met him. In a way. Goodbye. Cassandra of Sparta. What do you mean goodbye? I'm confused. What 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 are those wordings though? 
Okay, I'm gonna keep that breastplate so I can use it as like a... So that was like free XP because I literally just... Just, be, just because I spared the the father figure, our, our, our stepfather, he literally finishes one of our quests for us. That's kind of uh, interesting. I didn't even think that actually would have played out the way it did. Alright, let's go and finish the other champion we need to defeat, and then we'll return to Stentor and see how... And see how, uh... Yeah, how everything plays out with the father and the challengers all dead. Because I think the father will definitely be an interesting thing to to uh, affect Stentor in some capacity. Because it's interesting to see that Stentor is going to get involved with the father again, the wolf. It's kind of interesting, nonetheless. Um, Drekon used to frequent the... Some people in the at the Agora of Thebes may also know more about him. Okay, let's go and find the Agora. Which I have no clue about where to find this Agora. The Agora. I did see the uh, contract thingamabob over here, so might as well just pick that up. Ah, there's one. At least it's just one of them being available there. Alright, let's pick up the other side quests as well. I want to... At least get these side quests started. Um, so we can get the ball rolling with an oil workshop. What? You come to steal from me too, Miss Dios? Steal. Is that how you greet all your customers? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. The soldiers have taken everything from me. Even my beloved Spiro. Soldiers take what they want. Who is Spiro? Yeah. Only the best horse I ever owned. <laughs> I don't know. Spiro. Spiro is like Spiro to me. And it's like the dragon character from Activision. Uh, or not Activision, but like the, the game video game dragon character thing. <laughs> get another horse. But you could always get another horse. Yeah. These things cost Drachmi, you know. I Drachmi understand. you don't have, by the sound of it. Yeah. I need him back to cart my shipments. Once Dragon finds out I can't get him his oil, I'm as good as dead. Dragon. Dragon. The Viotian champion? He's my biggest customer. Oh. I'm trying to hunt him down. Save me from Dragon's wrath. Find my Spiro, please. Sure. If you need him so badly, I'll find your Spiro. Be quick, please. I can only imagine what those thieves are doing to him. Where did they take him? They must have him at the military camp. Oh. East of Snakehead Rock. It's the only outpost nearby. Uh, okay. Um, why does he need why the oil? Why do you take oil to Dracon? He likes to have his back oiled. Ew. Uh, that that makes his muscles look bigger, I suppose. <laughs> I didn't think he needed the help. No. Although I don't know why he prefers my flammable oil over something less dangerous. Wait, he actually wants black oil, but not, like... Grease oil? Are you kidding me? What is wrong with this other dude? So that kind of that kind of gives us a clue that we could just throw a torch at him and he would just be burning up. Where do you deliver the oil? I deliver his shipments to his training ground near the site of Iphigenia's sacrifice. Okay. Where can I find these thieves? In a camp, east of Snakehead Rock. Okay. And lastly, can you tell me what Spiro looks like? Yeah. I want to make sure I'm stealing the right horse. Where to begin? He's magnificent. A towering stallion as black as night, with a mane of brilliant, shimmering white hair. So he's kind of like the black horse with the white hair kind of style. That's, inter that's an interesting style of look. Looks like I have a horse to find. It's a rare horse to look like that, I guess. Alright, so we got kind of clues of, uh... We kind of got clues of where, um, Dracon is technically at, but let me go and uh, also pick up the other side quest that seems to lead into that, I bet. So that we can kind of dismantle Dracon's power over whatever it is here. Don't tell me this is a camp. Okay, it's not. Because I saw, like, some fencing spike stuff, so I was scared it might lead into that. Wait, what? Oh, this is the leader's house? But... Oh, this is the gymnasium. Oh, okay. I better avoid that then. For now, I'll avoid that. I'll do the steed running first. 
because that's pretty straightforward right now. So let's do that first. Um, Spiral was stolen in Boletia. That's a given. God damn it. Cursed Lands of Oedipus. He was seen last seen in the eastern part of it. So right here. And then he saw that the... He is likely held in the Athenian Putneys, Putneys, uh military camp. Okay, so I'm assuming this is this thing. No, I wanted to see the region. I want to see the Mark's region parts of... Yeah, because it's eastern, so I'm guessing that's the only one that's far east and has, a, like, a question mark to itself. Uh, yeah, that's Leader's house. Okay. I don't think I've... Did I clear out the leaders? I also see a thing over here. No, I want to see who the who this mercenary is. Because apparently there's this mercenary coming through, and I want to spot them out so I can kind of get the idea that that's the... If it's an S-tier uh, mercenary, that would be so freaking useful to know, because I can track them later on in the future. If I have to. Autumn Meden, the clean. Aw, oh, he's all the way down there. Uh, I want it. I want more clues in the S1 area, at least. Man, game. Um, I mean, at least we're getting closer and closer to the clues of the S tier. Because the S tier doesn't move anywhere unless I kill them. Uh, unless I kill them up ahead and stuff like that. But otherwise, it's like. There's no point in worrying about the thing. Oh, there's another freaking mercenary here. Come here, mercenary. Don't run, don't run, don't run. Wait for me. Oh my god, this guy's running far, far away. Oh no, he's slowing down. Yeah, he's on horseback, apparently. There's the mercenary, dude. Pry Tamus, the ben Benelevant. Oh, he's on. Ah, why are they all level? F why are they like tier five? Damn it! All right, uh, let's keep on moving, I guess. I did hear some fighting, so I don't know where exactly where this fighting is happening. I'm assuming it's inside or the, behind this wall, but I can't see it. All right, here we go. Ooh. I heard some fighting, so I'm assuming the fighting was out here. There we go. Thanks for coming close enough to me. Yeah, I don't know. Kill it! Kill it! Thank you, Kados. Thank you. Alright, we got some good stuff there. Wood. Thank you. Some folks walking out. I hear a wolf. That sounds bad for those two behind me. Those two might get attacked by the wolves. We'll see. Or they'll see, I guess. Alright, cool. Um, but yeah, otherwise I just feel like this... This whole Drekhon is like a little bit more complicated because I guess he has the better name, I guess, out of the other four champions. I mean, Drekhon sounds like Dragon to me. And it's just like... I don't know. I feel like maybe that's the way... The, the reason why his name is Drekon is because he actually fights like a dragon, maybe? <laughs> I would not be surprised. I actually clearly won't be surprised. That must so, be Spiro. Looks like a sturdy horse. So basically, these guys are just burning farmland. They're just burning trees and such. What's with these wolves? What is this? There's so many wolves. What is this? I'm so pissed that there's so much wolves howling for no reason. Don't you dare run. Thank god I got that. Since they're all sleeping, I can probably hunt them down quickly, I guess. Alright, hopefully we can spot them all out here. Check all the doorways so I can see if there's anything. There's no fire thing or anything, I believe. Alright, getting closer, just to see if there's anything I can mark off. I think that's all. Yeah, I think that's all of them. Is that a cage? No, that's not. I thought it was a cage for some reason. Alright, cool. We're good. Um, I just need to... Don't want to be caught here. I just need to head inside here somewhere. I need to hit- I gotta get into the area quickly so I can 
s not snipe them out, but like, I don't know, I can go through here, I see it. I, I just, like, saw it just now. There we go, that's one. You must be speed. Let's Two. Take back home. Three. I'm gonna have to wait a little bit. To get this guy here. Get him next. Alright. Get the next sleeping folk here. If we can, that is. Yeah, I'd rather just assassinate them all and then just move on forward. Okay, I thought I could just loot that thing, but I couldn't. There we go. There was another guy right there. There we are. Uh, nope. Not what I wanted. No, 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 no. Just go down for now. Is that a assassin dude kind of thing, or? Oh, okay, I guess. You won't see me anyway, so. Wait, what? Oh, the other guy woke up already. Okay, well, I guess that's how it is. Well, I mean, this will make things easier for me a little bit. There we go. Perfect. I cleared my own bounty as well. <laughs> Just when I needed to. Oh, there's a lion here. Oh my god. This could have been so great because it's like sleeping time for them. Thank you. And let me clear this thing out as well. Let me grab this. Alright. Yeah, that's a lot of money for sure in this area. Alright, we need to get the last supply, and that should clear out the area here. Yeah, there was only one way out, it seems like. I thought there was like a two entrance way out, I think, but... Uh, give it There we go. Perfect. Got that out of the way. Let me grab some more of their stuff that they left behind here. Uh, we're gonna have to go up there to the top so I can get the arrow rack. Yeah, because I want the arrow racks so I can get some more arrows out of it. Alright, okay. I believe there should be another arrow rack up there. If not, that's totally fine, I guess. Some stuff that I didn't collect apparently down here. Yep, another arrow rack, I was right. Well, it seems like I already got all the arrows I need, so it's not, it's not really necessary to get that anymore, so. Gotta hit this right. Man, this thing is really tough to break. Sometimes it's, like, easy to break, sometimes it's not. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Um, can I get on this horse... And toss a torch at the same time. That's the thing I haven't done yet. Oh god, that's super terrible. Sorry, horsey. There we go. And that should clear this area out. Okay, I don't really care about anything else out here. Let's get out of here. Alright, cool. We cleared out the area. Wolves are now going to be annoying because they're all over the place. Leave me alone. Thank you very much. At least we've got the horse now. Now all I need to do is literally get to uh, the dude that we need to get to. Yeah, we just need to take the horse back to uh, to the merchant, the oil merchant dude. Okay, yeah, we, we're almost done with this. Uh, we're almost out of time here, so that's interesting. Yeah, because all the assassination took a little bit of time just to get done with it, I guess. Alrighty, cool. I mean, I I wasn't anticipating it being like a little bit of a camp run, but 
whatever, I guess. Here's your horse, you freaking weirdo. Just kidding. No, he's not a weirdo. The other dude is. The Dracon is a weirdo. Spiro! Oh, I thought I'd never see you again. He's all right. Not a hair touched on his mane. Yeah. And Dragon will still get his shipment of oil, would he, Spiro? Hmm? We'll take it up the mountain and fill his holes with our wonderful flammable oil. Oh, he, he lives in the mountain. Spiro a happy horse, Bistios. And me, a happy man. Okay. So technically he lives in the mountain, it seems like. Because he kind of gave us a hint that he's going to have to climb a mountain to get to his halls. Alright, cool. Fair. Fair, fair, fair. Um, oh, we have enough money to upgrade our ship for once. Um, in this case, let's go and upgrade our ship. Ship. There we go. And voila. Now we got all gold for our ship. Now we just need to aim towards getting hundreds... Hundred thousands of freaking drachme and thousands of literal supplies to hopefully catch up to what we need for upgrading our ship again. All right, cool. Let's dismantle these things at least. I'm not selling it anymore because I just needed to. The reason why I wanted to keep them was just in case if I wanted to sell quickly to get to the uh, get to the money I need. But since I am low on materials, particularly wood. I'd rather just dismantle all these and just get it over with. Money can come along when it can, when it can technically. All right, cool. I think that was it. I think that's all I could dismantle here. Oh, no, 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 wrong click. Yeah, I don't think I can dismantle trade goods. I wish you could dismantle these trade goods, but you never can anymore. Um, I guess they used to be a trade good dismantling thing, but... I think they removed it because they didn't see it valuable anymore, or that they want to keep it as a certain, like, a certain system of how they do it, but I don't know. I feel like it's such a bad idea, though. Also, who the hell hangs people here in the front of the gym? Although, that's because in front of the leader house, never mind. But it's in front of the gym at the same time, which shows how vicious these groups are for these people. Oh, the leader's here, though. I'm not here for the leader, I'm here for You're this. A fool, Milani boss. A fool. Did you lose your Pancration match? Worse. I lost my one through love. Oh. My Dracon has found someone else. I just know it. He avoids me. And when we're together, he's always distracted. Really? So Dracon is kind of a, a person who likes guys, I guess. Fair. Don't lose hope. Maybe there's still a chance? Yeah. I can't leave this up to the whims of Tihi. I won't let Rajon go. Then that what's name, your though. Plan? I'm going to make a potion. It's a recipe that guarantees eternal love. That's an honest way to save a relationship. <laughs> it's simple. I'll borrow his precious armor for a few days, cut the inside, and let the potion seep through his skin straight to his heart. What I feel like. So, Rajon will be left without his armor. Aren't you worried he'll be vulnerable? Oh. He's the strongest, most sizzled man in Thebes. They'll be fine without it. Good to uh... know. My problem is the last ingredient. I need to buy the rarest heaven Viotia from my herbalist. But she hasn't come to Thebes in a while. She might be dead, though. I can find her for you. Huh. I must believe in love after all. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Where will I find this herbalist? She lives on a farm west of the city, near the tomb of many kefs. Okay. And I hope I don't need to steal the armor as well because that stealing the armor is just another hassle i have to deal with rare herb huh what is it a herb hot enough to impass in him red hot to make his affections and his skin sizzle emphasis of the sizzle i guess tell me how you met it's a tale for the edges i moved to thieves of dreams of becoming a great champion i came to this gym and saw him a mighty warrior with even a mightier smile I wanted to learn from the best, but the only muscle he truly worked on was my heart. Mm. You're going to a lot of effort for Dracon. Is he worth it? Yeah. He's a living, breathing Heracles. You tell me. I sound. It sounds kind of scary. Yes. He's not here. Where is he? Normally, we're both here night and day. The only time he leaves is to perform at the training ground. I wonder what he does in his training ground. Thing. I'll go find that herb for you. I have a weird feeling that his training. Oh, what, what did I do? I didn't do anything! 
I only did it for the quest. What are you doing? I'm getting out of here. This was not a dangerous area to begin with. What the hell happened? I wasn't even standing near the... Oh, I hate that so much. The system was weird. All right, we need to go find the herbalist. Center of the... Let me mark this map before we end this episode here. Um, I'll end the episode while I'm trying to run out of here at least because I can tell it's gonna take me time before I can be safe somehow. Uh, herbalist lives in Obotia. I'm already there, don't care. Uh, the herbalist lives near the center of the scorched rolling plains. Scorched rolling plains. Center. That building right there? It looks like a building right there. The, herbalist sent the herbalist's farm has a huge silo with a red cloth on it. I'm assuming it's this. That one spot right there. That looks like a building. I might be wrong. That is sort of the center of the region, but we'll see. I will go this way, actually. Oh, come on. I didn't do anything, guys. I didn't even touch your leader. I wasn't even close to their leader. I'm not even bounty. I don't even have a bounty to begin with. What are you guys doing? Damn it. Yeah, I guess I have to move up. I had to go through there just so I can get out of there. It's so ridiculous how bad this is. I had to get out of here before we get into the episode. Yeah, we are technically out of time. I just needed to double check how much time we got. Got uh, for this episode so far. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys in the next episode where nobody minds. And hope you guys have a great, amazing day, week, and night, or whenever you're watching this. Next episode, we'll go ahead and meet this herbalist for this guy and get the herb that he needs from her, I guess. And then hopefully we'll return the uh, the herb to the guy in the, in the next episode and see what that turns out into. I don't I have no clue what the hell I'm looking for with this one, but we'll hopefully get it done as soon as possible when we get to it in the next episode for sure. Uh, I'm just moving closer to the herbalist so I can just pick it up and be whatever. Yeah, it looks like a house over there. A house on the hill. This looks like the place. Oh, never mind. Okay. Well, I was close, but it's not there, apparently. Yeah, I guess that's how it is. Alright, so we're getting closer to this one then, I guess. I'll probably stop around... Yeah, I'll stop around here for now. Alright, cool. So thank you guys for watching. In the next episode, again, uh, we'll finish up the side quest or this. Yeah, this side quest is the main quest. I guess you could call this a sub quest, the main quest. I guess, but it's whatever, honestly. Um, so we'll finish this quest off, and then we'll move into killing or assassinating Dracon. Finish up Dracon, and then we'll go back to the Conqueror main quest, which is technically the one that turns into uh, so so that we can turn in the request from what Stentor wanted it, and we'll probably see what happens with him and the wolf, because we met the wolf in this episode, I believe, and uh, we kind of know that this wolf is returning, because we told him to return, and so we'll see how that's going to go. Um, after that, however, I once we're done with the Conqueror quest, with uh, helping Sparta take back Botia, I will go ahead over to the champion main quest, which is where we need to escort this main champion guy to the Olympics, apparently. Um, I know for a fact that the Olympic dude is technically a cultist, so we'll have to keep our eyes peeled for that guy, because he's gonna probably be a freaking bastard and lie to me and, like, make me do evil deeds, probably, most likely, and then betray me by stabbing me in the back for just helping him do his evil deeds, uh, which is a typical thing that some of these cultists love to do, which is make me do evil deeds and make me realize that those things I have done that seem good at first are actually evil deeds, which I, <laughs> I am not surprised by if they ever do that again. Um, because I've bumped into like several cultists who have done that to me already, so whatever. Uh, otherwise, that's it for this episode, and uh, again, hope you guys come back for the next episode. Um, but otherwise, hope you guys have a great amazing day, weekend, night, or one of watching this. Roz, out.